What's up, everybody? AI Workshop back. Today, I'm changing the alternator on a 2006 GMC Envoy. One way to tell if your alternator is bad is you have the vehicle running, and you pull, you pull the positive cable off the battery, and if it dies, it's your alternator. That's pretty much the only way I check if my alternator is bad. So, I don't take it to AutoZone or NAP or none of that bullshit. Anyways, um, do me a favor, like, comment, Hit that sub button, notifications. But other than that, let's get into it. Alright, here's the alternator. Yes, it, it looks new. I did replace it. I never recorded it. I figured I'll show you guys how to do it. That was my fault. Anyways, here it is. Your serpentine belt's hooked up to it here. You pulley tensioner. You take a ratchet. 3 8 ratchet. Goes in inside that that hole right there. Pull it down, whatever. You loosen up the belt, take it off. All right, and then you got. I like to take this bracket off. There's two bolts. Get it out the way. It's a little bit easier to maneuver. Then you got two bolts. One here on top. Two bolts on top. One here and then here. And then there's one more on the bottom, which is down on the other side here. And then you got wires in the back. You got a clip here and then a wire that's held on by a, bolt, a nut in the back. I usually wait till the end to do those because you can't, as you can tell, you can't really get to that shit. But uh, that's it. That's how you do that. But uh, let me show you how to pull it out. Just take it off the top. Just take it off the alternator. Once you do that, slowly release it because it's going to spring back a little bit. Alright, got it off. Alright, now. Pop those bolts up.
Now take out the wires. Quick tip, if you ever got to change your thermostat in an 06 onboard, thermostat is behind the alternator. So you have to take the alternator off to get to it. There it is, right there. Alright, back in it goes. Put the one on with the bolt first. That way you don't have, you don't struggle with that one. Or the one with the nut. You just want it good and snug. If you go too tight, you can break it and then the alternator's no good. And then you just paid all that money for nothing. Put your plug back in. I'm able to do that. Okay. Try to do the, the back one first, just to get it started. You only run the top two in a little bit. That way you can still move it to get the bottom one in.
time to put the belt back on. If you, if it falls off or it comes off all the way, the pitch is right here on the side. You know, just follow it. It's like connect the dots type deal. All right, same thing in reverse. That's it. It's that easy. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Whenever you're changing some type of electrical on your vehicle, you always want to disconnect the battery. That way you don't go blowing in fuses or frying any computer components. I mean, I don't know if it's, it could happen. But, you know, just better be safe than sorry.